hi everyone and welcome back to sana's garden and welcome if you're new here i hope you all are doing great and staying safe so this video is a spring update of my asiatic lily bulbs which i had planted the past fall and also an update on all those bulbs which i had tried uh, storing in a different ways so please hang around until the end of the video because there is a lot of details that you might be interested in so let's get started so right around the beginning of april all the bulbs in the containers started to produce the shoots once the temperature started to warm up a little bit uh, in mid spring the shoots are initially a uh, purple in color while emerging out of the soil but later they turn bright green and uh, produce a lot of foliage once they are exposed to sun and once the temperatures start to you know warm up really as you can see i kept the chicken wire even after the foliage started to grow because i was really frustrated with the squirrels because they were still attacking all my asiatic lily plants even after so much of foliage was grown this is heartbreaking <laughs> they even showed on uh, almost like a big stalk i could clearly see a lot of flower buds in it but it was chewed on and it was really very sad and very heartbreaking to see although only one out of so many bulbs but still so i tried to keep the chicken wire for as long as i could so yeah so to the plus point now all of my bulbs have come up and this is the advantage of dividing your asiatic lily bulbs you can just see how freely and how evenly all the bulbs are growing and coming to the surprise of this video this is the two containers in which i had planted all my uh, teeny tiny lily bulbs so many of you asked me uh, why am i planting in two layers or three layers uh, will it not cause crowding and all so i had mentioned earlier in the video that only the bulbs which are about 1 inch or more than 1 inch size will produce uh, one or two blooms this season and rest of the teeny tiny bulbs will only produce one leaf so as you can see all those teeny tiny bulbs have produced only one leaf so practically what they are doing this season is they will produce the foliage they will uh, absorb all the energy from the sun store it in the bulb and they complete their cycle and hopefully in the next growing season they will reach to at least this uh, tiny plant capacity which will produce one flower this season isn't that amazing like i'm saving space and the tiny bulbs are becoming big and and as i mentioned earlier like one inch sized bulbs will produce at least two flowers one flowers so as you can clearly see all of my bulbs which are having a little bit thicker stalk have one to two buds on them and some of them have a uh, three to four as well so this is a uh, completely jam packed but it just looks amazing i just can't wait to see the blooms on this container because it's it's so nice If any of you is watching my video for the first time I am so sorry it might uh, sound like I'm just rambling and talking out of nowhere and just going crazy over my tiny asiatic lily plants so this is an update video if I haven't mentioned it before so I had done a whole uh, series on my asiatic lily bulbs right from the after bloom care to digging them out and dividing them and then planting them and even storing them and i decided to store my asiatic lilies a couple different ways so the two big containers you're seeing here are all my larger asiatic lily bulbs which will produce more and bigger flowers and the two uh, rectangular containers you're seeing here are having all my uh, asiatic lily bulblets essentially so I decided to store them in a layered fashion because I have a space issue in my garden and I also wanted to try out how 
uh, they will perform if I do it this way so what I did was I planted all my tiny Asiatic lily bulbs in a layer bottom layer in the rectangular container and then on the top layer I had planted the bulbs which were about one or two inches in diameter so until now as I can see it has gone a success and all of them have come up everything is looking healthy I can see all the flower buds and good to go so you all can try this so now coming to the second way of how I stored my Asiatic lily bulblets so if you haven't watched my video on how to store Asiatic lily bulbs I would uh, suggest you to watch that to understand what is happening here I will link that video in the i card above and also in the description box below so I had stored all, all of these Asiatic lily bulblets in a little bit of moist compost in a plastic baggie which I had put it in my uh, shed for the past six to seven months during the whole winter and the spring months so I took them out around mid of May and this is how they were looking all of them are happy and healthy and started to produce the roots and shoots so they are good to go and that is a scale of the bulb which has started to produce a growth as well so yes you can propagate your asiatic lilies uh, with scales as well i had recommended this method of uh, storing your asiatic lily bulbs to those of you who do not get a cold winter um, or those of you who live in a really warm and humid climates so Asiatic lilies need a cold winter to go through that dormant uh, cold period and then start uh, growing again in mid or late spring so if I can quickly uh, brief how the temperatures have been in the UK for the past six months it has been a refrigerator or freezer temperature so we have had a really cold winter and even some uh, below freezing uh, weeks in the winter and the spring did not look like spring at all it has been really chilly and rainy and windy and not good at all so it was a refrigerator temperature if i can just sum it up in one word so if you don't get cold winters you can store your asiatic lily bulbs in your refrigerator and when you take them out uh, in mid spring or late spring just plant them up normally as you would uh, plant your asiatic lily bulbs and you'll be good to go so that's it for this video i hope i explained what i wanted to and i hope that you got some inspiration from it and you got some tips from it thanks for watching keep gardening bye